Hey guys, Clark and Junior. Hello guys, my name is Judson. Hey guys, it's you, honey. I'm Kenyatta and I'm a senior. Hi, my name's Austin. I'm senior 2020. Try to give it their all 100% because ninth grade year will make or break you. Seriously, make or break you. Um, that comes from attitude, how you are, what type of person you are, your grades, that determines everything. To stay on task, do all your work, don't slack in any classes, and talk to your teachers, and stay connected with your guidance counselors. Don't be like me. When I was in night grade, I used to running around, then do my work, then care about nothing, you know? So please be smarter than I was. Thank you. And if there's any advice that I have for freshmen is to figure out what you want to do after high school before senior year. Join that club, do that sport, um, study for that test. Um, I guess I guess the best advice is just, you know, I would say ninth grade is the best year to just mess around. Not like not do anything, but learn who you are, just not worry as much about grades and everything. Because that's like the perfect time you really figure out who you are. Ninth grade is kind of like that, the year where you just really transfer everything you've done into just a higher stance, I guess. So I guess just really focus more on yourself than the grades. That's, that's really it. Uh, really just playing football because, you know, um, I have fun with my teammates and stuff like that. But... Um, during lunch, I'm not going to speak on why, but during lunch was some fun memories. One of my favorite memories of Arm was just with the football team, like just joking around, laughing around. I used to play in the soccer team. I remember it was a Tuesday night. We played against Durant and we beat them. I was really happy. Easily, uh, I think my favorite memories was TV production, honestly, from my... Definitely my first two years. Uh, my first year, I really met some, my first two years in our uh, TV production, I met some of the best people ever. I had talked to a lot of them outside school. It really just, that whole class kind of like changed the way I looked at a lot of things. A lot of people helped me really tone into who I was really, who I really am. So I really want to thank, obviously thank you, Mr. Hyde. And everyone who was there the past two years, definitely, my last year was good too, but I think the first two were just perfect, I would say. I want to say Mr. Hot, because that's the first teacher to ever call my parents while I was in school, so I had to tighten up in this class. Okay, who had the biggest impact? Uh, me, uh, almost as my teachers my English teachers and my friends, you know, Miss Rick, thank you. I really appreciate you for all you've done for me. Thank you. I would like to thank Mr. Kennedy, Miss Rick. You guys are amazing. Thank you. Like I said, I think the person I spent the most time with at Ormwood ever since I've been there was Mr. Hyde. Mr. Hyde, he, he's a good teacher. He, he's not always like, perfect but he's really good and I know you're watching this Mr. Hyde you're really good at teaching like you, I don't know it's hard to explain it's just your class did a lot for me so I really I appreciate everything you've done so thank you thank you for everything you helped me graduate um, showing me different things when it comes to film and anything like that even though I wasn't always like the most you know productive member of your class I go back to ninth grade, I'll go harder on my on the books. I did good in ninth grade. I got good A's and B's. Slipped up and got two C's, but I wish I can just make the grade, just make it better. I would join a club because clubs keep you academically focused and focused on school and help you do better in classes. I would stop being stop running around, you know, take stuff more seriously, do my work, care more about the school. Honestly, nothing. I my think I think my ninth grade, my freshman year was 
perfect. Uh, like, that's not really, like, happens a lot, but I'm really grateful for uh, everything that happened. Even though I didn't start at Armwood, I went to Leonard first. I think everything just really lined perfectly. It was my first year in high school, and it was, I moved to Florida. That was really nice. I think just it all aligned perfectly, so nothing. Just get more input from the students, hear what they have to say about the school and everything. And yeah, just get input from them. Okay, we can be almost better by don't fight, don't kiss our teachers, and then don't throw the trash in uh, the hallway, you know, throw them in the, in the garbage can and skin. So, thank you. That's me.